Hello, welcome back to our study of Pinine Halacha, the teachings of Rebbe Leazar Malamed Shlita. Continuing our series on Kiddush, the next chapter is Kiddush Al Hayayin. Tiktu Chachamim Lomaras Kiddush Al Hayayin, Ibne Shu Hamashke Hachashuv Biyoser, Shuhugam Mazimigam Sameach. Chazal instituted that we should recite Kiddush over wine, particularly wine, because wine is considered the most elevated of all the beverages. And it also gives one sustenance and, of course, makes one happy. We find that many types of mitzvah that particularly have a simcha element to them, a joy element, Chazal instituted that we should make the bracha on a cup of wine. I alluded to this yesterday, Brachas over a wedding, both in the Arison part and in the Sheva Brachas, Sheva Brachas at a meal, and also after a bris. So Yayin, wine, has a very specific standing when it comes to the world of Brachas, of blessings. It has its own unique blessing, because other beverages, first we make the Bracha of Shehakol, and afterwards, the after blessing is Baran Fashos. Wine, however, has its own unique beforehand blessing of Baran Priha Gefen, Hagafen. And afterwards, we don't say Baran Fashos, you say an Alamecha type, which is called Al Hagefen or Bracham Ein Shalosh. Halachon Osefesh in Vatas has a mother shall a Yayin, Shalom Roshi Berchosa Shonwe Bercha Shar Hamashkin. Not only that, another unique aspect is that not only does wine have its own unique blessing, but it also will exempt other beverages with the blessing recited over wine. In order to show our appreciation and love and to beautify the mitzvah, so one should make Kiddush on Yayin, which is on wine, which is of a very good quality, which is something that the person making Kiddush will certainly find to be dear. And if someone does not have wine, then at the nighttime you can make Kiddush on Chala. And in the daytime, you can make, if, again, if you don't have wine, you can make Kiddush on a different type of alcoholic beverage. And he says, Bira Levana, white beer. I guess as opposed to a dark lager, I'm not sure, or vodka, which it needs no explanation, which we have a custom, of course, of making Kiddush in the daytime on schnapps, on whiskey, something like that. And if a person does not have even those items to make Kiddush on, you can also make Kiddush on bread. In the note, he has a whole conversation about whether or not you can make Kiddush on what's called Chamar Medina, which is a halacha that applies to Havdalah, but that's not really the discussion for now. And when we make Kiddush on wine, there's a very deep understanding and a deep symbolism there. Generally speaking, when we look for the revelation of sanctity in the world, it's in a very spiritual sense, and we do it sort of with a lot of humility, and in the physical world, the Yetzir Hara that comes out, the evil inclinations, such as jealousy, desire, and mockery, those things, they, they burst forth in a much more forward way. He says, sometimes people of a spiritual nature within the world, they refrain from these types of things. We refrain from things that might possibly bring us to lightheadedness, etc. He says, lo be Israel. That's not so with the Jewish people. We take the mundane, we elevate it, we sanctify the Shabbos with wine. We take the physical and the spiritual, we fuse them together, and we show that the Spirit of God and the Divine Presence is evident and emanates through both of these media. 
והשמחה והצהלה, כשהן מכוון אז קרוי, יכולות להיות שותפות ממש לגילי הקדושה בעולם. And having joy and celebration through physical means is not considered a contradiction. Rather, they can become partners to bring the spiritual and the physical together. And this is the notion of Shabbos. As we've said many times, we want to reveal the sanctity in the world through studying Torah, the meals of Shabbos, davening, and Kiddush on wine. So whereas some in the world might say, no, we should refrain from alcohol, we should refrain from yain, from wine, because we don't want to come to Yetzir Hara, we say the opposite. No, we elevate ourselves through yain. And we show the Kedusha through Yain. Again, we're not talking about overdoing it, of course. We're just talking about doing so in the proper fashion. V'zeo she'amr chachamim, and he quotes from the Perkei Rebbe Le'ezer, Kal mavarech mekadosh al yain b'le'ele shabos has marichan le'yomim ba'olam hazeh u'le'olam haba. And the Perkei Rebbe Le'ezer says, Whoever makes Kiddush and makes a blessing on wine on Friday night will have length of days in this world and in the next world. So, Again, the notion of making Kiddush on wine is extremely, extremely important. We'll see next time, God willing, what types of wine one should use. I'll add a little personal note to that as well. But for now, understanding that we should make Kiddush on wine Friday night, and we should use good wine, wine that we like, wine that will be desirable to the Makadesh. And for some, that just might be grape juice. But again, all depends on your liking. We'll have to see tomorrow. As we study more, Pinei Halacha, the line, the laws of Shabbos, customs of Kiddush, from Eliezer Malam Shlita. Hope everybody has a great day. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you here next time.